to go in it. Super Mega Cast. Sink. This didn't happen. I'll be better. What's up, you guys? Drinking a second coffee for the morning, afternoon. It's like 11 o'clock. I just made myself a bagel and everything bagel with um, cream cheese. Already getting my hair on it. That's awesome. Anywho, we are upstairs. Sydney's just playing. She's got a lot of her stuffed animals around the room. Um, she just picked out her outfit for the day. She's so cute. She loves to pick out her own outfits. Um, and what else? So anyway, I just thought we would chill up here for a minute while Sydney is playing and I could get some eating. We have basically played all morning. We played in her playroom with magnet tiles. We are doing a day in the life today. I am including a little grocery haul. I picked up some groceries yesterday that I wanted to include in here. Probably cooking some sort of dinner. So like cook with me. Um, just a daily vlog. I do want to try. Oh, lovely. She destroyed her room. Um, Anywho, I do have to run to like Ulta or Sephora, one of those places, and grab some foundation. I've been out of foundation for months and months. I actually bought some. It was the wrong color. I returned it, and I never got my right color. I just never made it a priority. So that is what I hope to do today. Um, I love you so much. Okay, so it's a couple of hours later. Did some work, posted on Instagram. And now Little Miss and I are going to um, run to Ulta. So I'm gonna go pick up some foundation. Hopefully I can figure out what shade will match me. I like did some searching online. I usually do uh, outside the mall. It kind of stinks to drive all the way um, for only doing that, but it is almost two o'clock already. So the day's kind of getting away from us just because I had to do some work and then finish getting myself ready for the day. Yeah. Pop over to Alta real quick. Sydney's got her little snack. Are you warm enough? Okay. So quickly before we lose daylight, I just wanted to show you what I picked up at, um, at Alta. So I was looking for an exfoliator and they don't, I really like exfoliate. And then I liked one, I think, I think from Murad, I don't know. I liked another one, but they didn't have those. So she gave me a couple samples of this. Um, this is the Dermalogica daily exfoliant. It's just like the powder, I guess, that you add to water. And I guess it's gentle enough to use daily, but I didn't want to buy the big one because it was 60 bucks. They didn't have a smaller one. So I didn't want to like, buy it if I didn't like it so she gave me a couple of um, the small packets of those oh we're getting sunny here this was a splurge but I've really been wanting it for a couple of years now um, I love this so this is the um, Luna Sunday Riley um, oil it's a sleeping oil it's dark blue it has retin-a in it and I used to use this um, before I got pregnant and then of course you know while you're pregnant and breastfeeding it's not re recommended and then I just never bought it again but I was reminded of it from Krista Bowman Ruth I follow her um, on Instagram and YouTube and she had put this in one of her insta stories and I was like oh yeah I, I used to love that stuff so it reminded me of it and then I saw it today and I was like you know what you might as well since you're gonna work on your skincare. Anywho, I will report back. It's been a couple of years since I've used this or quite a few years, like four years. So um, I will report back on how I feel about this now a days, but I do remember loving it back, back in the day. The foundation that I went in for was the Born This Way. It's, I talk about this all the time, but it's the Born In This Way. And I ended up getting the shade Warm Beige, um, which is darker than my, normal skin color but I am going to be self tanning and using my tanning lotion so I wanted to pick that up yes I promised Sydney a little snack here so then I picked up the living proof um heat styling spray I really need a heat styling spray I have a couple but I don't know they're all different in my opinion so this is the one that I really prefer and like because it doesn't leave my hair sticky or have any sort of like hairspray feeling or texture and I feel like I notice a difference in my hair texture um, 
health wise when I use this. So I picked that up. It's um, pretty, pretty good. Showing you guys. Now I'm all done showing what I purchased at Ulta. We did, I did run to Starbucks right before that. I grabbed myself a coffee and a snack um, for Sydney and I to share. I got like velvet loaf, I think. Um, because Sydney, what are you doing? What is, what is my big girl doing today? She's not sucking her thumb. Are you? Uh -uh, and I really want to. Yeah, I know it's really hard. And guess what? I can sweep all day and I can suck my thumb. We did talk about this. I'll probably inform you guys later, like maybe when she goes to bed about it. But um, yeah, day one, and she's doing amazing. As you notice, she doesn't have her white blankie with her. She's the one who decided not to bring it with her. She wanted to bring this just for um to keep her legs warm. But anyway, so I thought a snack, a snack treat on the car ride would be um something great. So okay, mama. Okay. still have <laughs> hey there pumpkin in our fall wreath I never put a um, Christmas one on there whoops is this heaping pumpkin that is pumpkin um sanitizer too yes <laughs> Can we just talk about her playroom right now? Do you guys see this? <laughs> Look how clean it is. And this is a few days after I um, filmed my, or after I organized it and filmed. She's doing so stinking well. She's like so proud of herself to put things away. Like of course, you know, she made a little bit of a mess in the living room when I was doing the dishes, but I have no problem with that. She is having her downtime. I'm proud of her. And now I'm like just going to pick up here before I um, cook dinner. But my little girl's growing right up. So I think I'm going to make chicken fajitas for dinner tonight. Um, I have some peppers, onion, chicken tortillas. I don't have fajita seasoning, but I have like taco seasoning. It'll be fine. And rice. And I don't know. I'm just going to wing it. Um, I think that sounds yummy for this evening, so. I am so proud of Sydney, it's insane. While I am about to prep dinner, I'm gonna insert my grocery haul for the week so you guys can see what I picked up for groceries. Just getting back from Hannaford, I picked up some groceries uh, for the week, so I thought I would include a little grocery haul within this video. It's not a huge one. Um, I have two orange peppers, some broccolini for vegetable this week. I have some Campari tomatoes. Those kind of were calling my name. They're like, you know, not too big, not too small um, tomatoes. I decided to get some orange juice this week. I had a coupon for Hannaford orange juice and then, um, I don't know, I just thought it would be good. So no pulp, 100% orange juice. Some milk for the week. They were out of 2%, so they subbed it for the 1%. Um, I do have a hot rotisserie chicken and that we are gonna have for dinner right now after I'm done filming this. Um, we're gonna have some rotisserie chicken, potatoes, and a veggie. I have a head of garlic here, yellow onion, two avocados, and I'm not sure, but I think our avocados finally came down in price. They're ringing up as 99 cents, not on sale, so I'm wondering if that's just gonna be 
I don't know. Maybe they lowered the price. Maybe I'm just, who knows? <laughs> um, and Sydney absolutely loves this trio of crackers. So I grabbed some of those. This has just three different kind of types of crackers. And then also a four pack of Annie's mac and cheese for mac and cheeses because we've been out of our like pantry stock of mac and cheeses um also i because i ordered online i didn't even know what i was doing but i ordered apparently these i've never had these in my whole life so i don't know what i was doing or if this is a mistake but i thought i ordered a regular like annie's mac and cheese like with a squeezy sauce i don't know so apparently i ordered this and i got two of them so i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> um and then I ended up getting these Kashi mixed berry granola bars. I thought Sydney would really like those. Some blueberries for fresh fruit for the week. Some Kashi waffles. I'm actually always getting asked what waffles I give Sydney for breakfast. And I usually like the Kashi brand. So I have blueberry waffles and then we just have um, a thing of the seven grain, like the plain waffles as well. And she really enjoys those. I usually do a little bit of butter and sometimes some peanut butter on it. Just, I ask her how she wants them. And then I have a cucumber for snacking, um, some frozen pizza. Again, it's just the kind that I buy every week. The Freshetta brick oven has to be brick oven style cheese pizza is just my jam. And then I always regret not getting snacks throughout the week. So I decided to get a tube of um, chocolate chip cookie dough. I thought that sounded yummy to have some cookies for the week and then some heavy whipping cream. I like to have this on hand for random recipes that I make. And then we have some honey, some canned corn, nothing special, but I do like sweet corn. I had a coupon off of Prince Pasta, so I ended up getting the fettuccine. Um, I really like fettuccine. I never have that on hand. Of course, I had to get my uh, sugar-free hazelnut coffee mate creamer, my go-to, and I always need a backup in my fridge. And then just bread. I always get the 12-grain bread. I wanted some bagels for breakfast for me, so I got some everything bagels. Has to be the Thomas brand. It's just the best, in my opinion. Um, I have some American cheese. Um, what else? I bought Sydney some beef hot dogs she likes hot dogs i have some chicken so just chicken tenders some chive cottage cheese sydney and i really like to snack on that i got a bag of pears this week some red pears and then just a couple of lemons and then the last thing that i got is the balsamic caramelized onion hummus i thought this was, sounded so good i'm gonna have that with some crackers and some peppers throughout and cucumbers as well throughout the week yummy so that is everything is that everything yes everything that i picked up for groceries i want to be daring baby dance the night away i let my head down if i want to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better All right, so I just put the chicken in the frying pan with the veggies and then the, the sauce. Um, and I'm gonna make some of this whole grain brown rice. This is like 90 second ready rice. So easy and convenient for meals like this. And so that's all it is. It's just some peppers, onions, garlic, some seasonings, chicken. I've got some whole grain brown rice and then uh, tortillas. Oh, I'll probably top it off with some cheese and sour cream as well. Okay, so I didn't plate it for it to look good. <laughs> I just plopped cheese and sour cream on there. I have the rice and then all the veggies and chicken. Sydney decided she wants to play with stickers while we eat. That's fine by me. And tell me how it tastes. It's messy though.
Time for bed? <laughs> Why are you all excited? See how I bring it. <laughs> you went all day without sucking your thumb. What do you think of that? Uh-huh. You're such a good girl, Minnie. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Was it was was it easy? Uh -huh. Was it hard? What it how did you easy, feel? Easy. It was easy? Uh -huh. How did you feel? So much happy. So happy? And look guys. Oh, oh. I have an auto dress. Do you like it? I put Cindy to bed. I've been editing this video and I know this video is like jam-packed with a lot of stuff in it, but I had to include Sydney not sucking her thumb, you guys, and I kind of wanted to explain. I don't know, like it was kind of a random thing. I got a message from one of you guys yesterday um, asking for advice on how to get your little one to stop. Um, and I was like, I have no advice because my child still does. So Sydney still sucked her thumb with her blanket when she needed comfort or was tired or wanted to watch TV. And it was just like her habit. I mentioned it to her a few times that it's not good for her teeth and that, you know, as she gets older, she's not going to do it. And just like talked to her about it and had an open conversation with her about it several times, but I never made it a point to try and stop it. I just have been told by professionals and by everyone, like everyone that, you know, eventually they stop on their own, especially when they go to school and they see other kids are not doing it. It was never on my forefront. Like I, I always wanted her to stop, but it was never something that I, I don't know, even thought about tackling with her. So I just, woke up today after that message and i was like you know what why don't we just try and it to her i said hey sydney so we're not gonna suck we're gonna work on not sucking your thumb today that's what we're gonna do basically i treated it kind of like potty training and was like hey so we're doing this and she had a moment she probably had like a few minutes this morning after i had mentioned it of sort of a meltdown i'm sorry if this camera's shaking i'm freezing i was i just took off a big blanket anyway um, so she had a meltdown for a few minutes and by meltdown, I mean more of like sad cry. She was more like sad that we were talking about it and mentioning it. And I said, we weren't going to do it anymore. And I was going to help her through it. So obviously a main reason for me, you know, wanting her to stop, she's turning four. Um, I obviously don't want her teeth to be ruined, her speech to be ruined. I um, wanted to, I really want to make sure that she doesn't struggle in school, preschool, or like classes that she's in with other children. I just, I want her to be able to work through her emotions and kind of get over the sucking her thumb and needing her blanket thing, especially when she goes to school. And I just felt like as a parent, you know, I wanted to do everything that I can to help her. So after that meltdown, it was like all of a sudden a light bulb just went off in her head and she's like, okay, I'm not sucking my thumb. Okay, that's what we're doing. She did so amazing all on her own. I never, ever, ever throughout all, her whole life, like even when we mentioned um, sucking her thumb, I made it a point to never put shame on her. And that was really important to me because I just want to protect her feelings. And like, that's how she learned as a baby to cope with her feelings and self-soothe and don't we all like as when they're babies we want them to self-soothe so anyway so that's that was her thing and i know like it's probably hard to understand if you don't have a child who sucks their thumb because before i was a mom i would look at you know older children sucking their thumb and i'm like why is their parent not doing anything like hello and then i became the parent of a child sucking their thumb for a while anywho long story um i just made it a point to i hugged her i played with her all morning i gave her my one-on-one -on -one attention so much today um and i made it a point to do it today where i didn't have a ton of things like i wasn't just sitting on my computer working um, or on my phone working all day i had a lot of attention giving time to spend with her so a lot of distracting and a lot of encouragement positive reinforcement and you know hugging and holding she only had a well she had that moment in the morning and then after that she really didn't have any moments she pretty much did it all on her own um and she was so proud of herself she did come and get me i was in the kitchen like mid-afternoon she came and got me and she was like 
Mommy, I'm so sorry. I just sucked my thumb for a second. I wasn't even thinking. I'm so sorry. She came to me and told me that she had a moment where she sucked her thumb. And I was like, oh, bless your heart. You're so ready. Um, so I think it's, it's just so important. I knew she was ready emotionally to be able to you know, kind of handle it better. Um, and then I did say that she can... Um, suck her thumb while she has her blanket in bed when she's trying to get herself to sleep so yeah she actually only sucks it for like i don't know five ten minutes and then she's out like out cold and it comes out of her mouth so i was like we can do that for now and then we can work on that later she'll probably eventually drop that on her own but i'm just so proud of her and obviously we've only been one day um but even when we went to bed tonight when she went to bed tonight she's like Yep, so I'm gonna suck my thumb right now and then tomorrow I'm not gonna suck my thumb anymore. And she was so proud. We called my mom, her Mimi, and she was telling her Mimi. So I don't know, I just think she's she was like ready but needed that boost from mommy, you know, type of thing. So we'll see how it goes from here, but it's a huge accomplishment day one, um, that's for sure. A huge accomplishment, so I'm so proud. I wanted to share. I'm gonna end today's video here very long one. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Now I gotta go warm up because I'm sure this whole clip is like shake.